a video review of the JW Marriott Bangkok in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm Chris, this is Topher. We do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. This is part of our series on Bangkok. This is a review of this hotel. We'll tell you everything you need to know if you're considering staying at the JW Marriott Bangkok, including the neighborhood around the hotel, the common areas of the hotel, and the inside of one of the rooms. This room, a deluxe room. The JW Marriott Bangkok is located very conveniently on Sukhumvit Road. Sukhumvit Road is a main street through Bangkok and the SkyTrain runs along this street. So it's halfway between two SkyTrain stations. It's about a five minute walk to Plone Chit, which is in that direction, or it's a five minute walk to the Nana Stop, which is in that direction. If you're looking for things like Starbucks and McDonald's, all those things, there's the Plone Chit Center back the way I was standing back here. There's a Starbucks, a convenience store, and a McDonald's, all conveniently located right across the street. Entrance to the hotel is located off an alley just off of Sukhumvit Road. As you enter into the hotel's lobby, it's a nice, tall, two-story lobby. In the center of the lobby, there's the lobby bar and lounge. Then to the right of the lounge is the check-in area along with the concierge. Also on the ground floor is the JW Cafe, the hotel's breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet. And then just outside the JW Cafe is the Bangkok Baking Company, which is kind of a coffee shop shop with some pretty delicious looking pastries. Up on the second floor of the lobby, there's the hotel's Manhattan Bar, which has happy hour and drinks. There's a steakhouse and a Chinese restaurant. Also on the ground floor, just behind the lobby lounge and bar, is a little tiny gift shop and an ATM. So you can get out all the bot you want from the safety of the hotel. The basement level of the hotel is home to two more restaurants, these of the Japanese variety. Now that we've checked out everything around the hotel, let's check out the inside of one of the guest rooms. This is room 1149, a deluxe room on the 11th floor. Come on in, let me show you around. Uh, as we come in, there's just, I want to point out this very interesting wall decoration, some kind of Thai paintings. Now there's a closet, we'll check that out in a moment. Flat panel television right here on the wall, and there's a little house for the remote control, because you wouldn't want that remote to be ugly by itself, would you? Uh, over here, there's the two beds in the room. We see Topher is already relaxing here on the bed. Uh, nice beds, white sheets, reading lights, interesting just kind of gray headboard. All the switches right here, big clock. Uh, if you come over here, this is sort of interesting, this collection of stuff here in the room. Um, first, there's some Thai inscriptions right here. I don't read Thai, so I can't tell you what it means, but there's kind of this little art piece that's up here on top of what looks like the mini bar. A couple complimentary bottles of water, ice chest, coffee thing. Um, everything is hidden away. The teas are hidden away in this little box. And then just below there is the in-room mini bar. Uh, it's got stocked with some beers and things like that, Thai beers. Of course, the classic, uh, classic beers there. And some Japanese beers too. Um, usual mini bar items up there, glasses, and there's a tea kettle down here at the bottom. Um, this is our view on the 11th floor. It's dark, so I'll show you what it looks like in the day when we're looking out there. And then just below that window, there's this little drawer with an advertisement for the JW Merritt's all-you-can-eat dim sum lunch or dinner. That is pretty exciting. There's a little sofa right here, and there's some <clears throat> complimentary fruits. And in fact, it has one of my favorite fruits, the dragon fruit. And apparently these are um, replenished daily in the room, which is nice. I'm looking forward to eating this. Um, there's a second chair over here, so you can kind of use that as a place to like eat breakfast or eat meals, eat room service. There's another little kind of Thai thing on the wall over here with um, something that explains it. Uh, so these traditional Thai murals depict life in rural and urban Thailand, and that sculpture we saw over there was the Royal Barge sculpture. So that's kind of neat that they explain that. All right, if we come here, this is the closet in the room. We'll take a look inside the closet. The closet is a nice illuminated closet that lights up. And uh, as you see, closet's got a robe. It's got a big umbrella. It's got a uh, safety box, hair dryer, and uh, there's some slippers. And then down here, there's even, wow, this is quite a shoehorn. That's fancy. All right, let's take a look at the bathroom, shall we? This is the bathroom. 
uh, the bathroom. Good size bathroom. Nice, uh, nice sink here. It's got the soaps and stuff are also hidden away in here. But this has like every bathroom amenity you would ever want. Um, it's the Aromatherapy Associates brand. One of my favorite bathroom amenity kits. So you will, if you've left anything at home, they've pretty much got it for you in this little box. Um, there's the toilet over here. And then just in here is the shower and the nice glass thing. It's also got the Aromatherapy shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And then the final part of the bathroom right here is the in-room bathtub. It's kind of a small tub in size, but it does have a um, faucet and a handheld as well. Just one last thing to mention the room, right as you come in, there's kind of a nice nook where you can keep the luggage. And it's got one more piece of Thai art right up here, a nice colorful plate. Okay, Topher, do you know what time it is? It's a day review day. It's time for us to review the hotel. And for those of you who watch our hotel reviews regularly, you'll know we rate things on a scale of one to five Tophers. So Topher, how many Tophers does the JW Marriott Bangkok get? Four Tophers. It gets four Tophers. All right, so let's talk about the pros and the cons and why it got four Tophers. So the pros, I think it's a pretty great location right next to the BTS station at Plon Chit or over at Nana. Um, it is a comfy hotel. It's modern. The room we were in seems recently renovated. The room was quiet. I mean, we did hear some car noise from Sukhumvit Road down there, but it wasn't too bad, like nothing that would keep us up. But you can hear the sounds of the city. The air conditioning was nice and cold, which is really important in Bangkok. The staff was super friendly, super helpful as Marriott um, Platinum Premier members, we get uh, access to the concierge lounge. The breakfast in the concierge lounge was really quite good for a concierge lounge. It's unfortunate they also don't give breakfast in the restaurant as a choice. It's only breakfast in the lounge, but it was still a good lounge breakfast where they were cooking up fresh omelets and they had like Thai food and dim sum and dragon fruit and papaya, though we were disappointed that there wasn't any mango at the lounge. So JW Marriott Bangkok, if you're listening, people come to Bangkok for mango. We would love some mango in the lounge next time we come. Uh, also in the lounge, they served after afternoon tea and then they served evening like they called it like canopies but it was basically like dinner I mean when we were in there one night they were serving pad thai that they were cooking up on that same grill that they usually cook up eggs and pancakes and those sorts of things and it was really a pretty good pad thai and curries uh, so you could easily make breakfast and dinner at the hotel though you're in Bangkok with lots of great food so I don't know why you'd want to do that every night but certainly nice that you're tired coming in leaving things like that is really nice to have that also people who have access to the executive concierge lounge also get three pieces of laundry cleaned for free every day being here for a week we took advantage of that maximum amount every day because it's really hot here in Bangkok um, the gym it's a pretty big gym sorry I can't show it to you because when I went in they were like walking me around to show it to me so it was really hard to take pictures uh, the restaurant there's like five of them in the hotel they all look pretty nice on the con side now um, the lobby you know like we like nice lobbies and it's it's got a few tables and there's a bar there, but it just doesn't seem like a great place that you'd want to hang out all that much. Um, although the staff there was pretty good, it was a great place for us to wait for like cooking schools in the morning and things like that. Just not much of a place we'd really want to hang out in the evenings because the lobby isn't all that exciting. I think another con is, um, and this might be a pro or con depending upon you, but just out the window right here is Nana Plaza, which is um, like Bangkok's adult plaza almost or something like that with like lady boy shows and things like that so depending upon which direction you walk from the hotel if you walk towards the nana bts station it can get a little raunchy um, but we actually didn't notice that until a friend of ours pointed out that it's right outside our window we had no idea what it is because every time we left the hotel we always walked over to the plon chit bts station and not towards nana so um, that's just, you know, basically kind of walk in the one direction. And at nighttime, after I noticed that, I was noticing some just interesting element around the hotel. Though they didn't come into the hotel and I never felt worried about my safety or anything like that. So if you do come to Bangkok, um, I'd highly encourage you to consider the JW Marriott Bangkok. 
nice comfortable hotel, convenient location, and because it's close to that BTS station, you can zip around the city and not have to be stuck in Bangkok's awful traffic every day. Well, hey, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy watching some of our other videos from Bangkok, like uh, 10 Things to Know Before You Go to Bangkok, or some of the worst tourist scams in Bangkok. Well, we won't say goodbye because we'll see you in the next video. Peace.